Hello again and welcome to uh, another uh, lesson on uh, quadratic identities. The previous lesson we did quadratic expressions. Before that we looked at algebraic expression. Now I'm only extending but with key expressions, three key expressions. Suppose we are given a plus b in bracket squared. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, just like I give you 5 squared. What it means? 5 times 5. Now I've given you a bracket squared. Simple. A bracket times bracket. Here we go. a plus b squared. A bracket times bracket. I've put first bracket to remind you of what I said. When you are multiplying two brackets, then this first bracket, put it in red. Okay? For a student purpose, put it in blue. The other one in black. So black, blue. Then the one in blue, you will cut it into two. The first term and the second term first term and the second term. The second term must have its sign here. This sign goes with the second term. Then now, these are simple algebraic expressions. They are simple now. So you see, you must start with what you know to propel you to what you don't know. Okay? Now, why do we break it? It takes us back to algebraic expression. So this, when you multiply a and a, a squared, a and b, a b. Here b and a is b a, you can also say a b, if you want to arrange things logically. First, uh, the letters that come first in alphabet, and then those ones next. That's why I put it a b. But you are okay even if you did b a. Okay? But remember, we have to collect like terms. So like terms must click in your mind, pop, this one resembles this one, right? AB plus AB, and then B and B, B squared. Then this is our first identity. So what you need to know is this, how it compares with that. So if I'm given a figure here, like X plus 4. X plus 4. To expand it, the first term is squared. So x squared. Then you have a times b. So this is x plus 4. x times 4. 4x. Four and then times 2. So here I should get 8x. And then the second term with its sign, you square. You get that. Simple. Part 2. Suppose we have a minus b in a bracket square. a minus b in a bracket square. So what is the interpretation? Bracket times bracket. Do you remember? If I tell you 8 squared, yes. 8 times 8. Bracket squared, bracket times bracket. Here. Again, remember, in blue. Teacher, I can write in red. You, red is strictly for marking. Here. So we have blue. The first term here. The second term with the sign. Always remember the sign goes there. Then give them black, black. Okay? So here is minus. Okay? A minus B. Bracket times bracket. Then you have that, you come, a, a, a squared, a and minus b minus a b, minus b and a minus a b, and then this and this is negative, negative, plus. Then you have that. So suppose I'm given, see, suppose I'm given a simple thing, like x minus 5 squared. 
x minus 5 squared. In conclusion, the first element you square. So I should have x squared. This is the first element. Then you put minus. Then you are told 2 times a times b. Okay? 2 times a times b. That. So, a times b. A times b. You can write this, maybe before I write that. Here. A times b. A times b is negative 5x. A times b, negative 5x. Then you are told double times 2. So that is how I get negative 10x. Then I come here. I'm told the last term you square it. So my second here. This is my b. What is negative 5 times negative 5? You get plus 25. So this is your answer. Now, the key one, maybe we focus a bit here. Yeah, if we can focus, it will be good. If I can focus there. The key one here. Number three. Suppose I give you a minus b, one bracket. And the other one, a plus b. The top two examples, you had a similar bracket repeated. a plus b, a plus b. Second example, a minus b times a minus b. Third example, I take a minus b, but this side I take a plus b or vice versa. You can interchange them, it does not matter. So what do we do? This one, the first one in blue, according to you as a student, blue times black. Blue, break it. A first, give it blue, black. Then what remains here is negative B, give it black. Then open, A and A, A squared. A and B, A, B. Here, negative A, B. And then negative and positive, negative b squared negative and positive is negative then b times b b squared now you can see plus a b minus a b just like you can have plus 10 minus 10 zero then you remain with only the first and the last so look here if you have an expression of this nature this is its short form if I have this short form, then it can be written in this form. Note, a squared minus b squared is not the same as a minus b squared. You cannot factor out a square. Why? We can only factor out a power when elements inside bracket are related by multiplication or division. What is the relationship here? Subtraction. Even if it was addition, you cannot fact out. Okay? You can't. So, do not confuse the two. Okay? So, this is what we call dots in short form. So when you hear me talking of dots, it is this. This is the difference of the two squares. Okay? Difference is a minus, a subtraction. Between the two factors which are squared. Subtraction of two factors, A and B, and both of them are squared. By extension, to any even power, it works. So long as this power is even, it works. A difference of two squares, short form, dots. Folks, these identities are very important. It is good for you to practice. Next lesson, we are going to learn 
how to go back if i give you factors i give you factors how do you go back i'll give you something like this then i want you to get for me the two brackets i'll give you expanded form then i want you to get me the two brackets the next lesson bye